The next Starship flight could be about a month away. I repeat, the next Starship launch could be in about a month, and no, this is not a drill. If you've been following the Starship program for a while, you'll know that we waited for a long time to see the first flight of Starship, which was last year on 420 in 2023. But following that, we had quite a long wait, and that's because there was an investigation, repairs had to be made to the launch pad, so on and so forth. The second launch was in November, the third launch was in March, and we just celebrated the fourth launch here in June. But here's something interesting moving forward. The FAA is not requiring SpaceX to conduct a mishap investigation of Starship's fourth flight test per the regulator's statement. Why is this good news? Well, SpaceX's previous three test flights resulted in those multi-month investigations, but quote, all flight events were quote, within the scope for the most recent launch. Meaning that in order to get the next launch license, we won't have to wait due to a pending mishap investigation because there is no mishap investigation for this last flight. And recent statements made by Elon Musk indicate that yes, they would like to launch again next month. Next launch, hopefully, next launch, uh, Sasha Blomis launch is probably in about a month. Elon was live streaming on X this weekend, gaming and sharing details about SpaceX's fourth Starship test flight and future missions. Now, ahead of Flight 5, SpaceX will apparently add beefier heat shield tiles on the rocket. And also during my recent interview with Elon Musk, we got a sense that yes, if the team says things are good to go, they will attempt to catch the booster with the chopsticks, which is insane. I, I can't imagine how crowded and crazy South Padre Island is going to be, but you will not want to miss the first attempt of this sort of, you know, magnitude. This is something that has never been done before. Uh, I think we, uh, I think we should probably try to catch it with the tower arms on the next flight. It's almost as unbelievable as landing boosters on a drone ship. And so hopefully everything goes well, but they're looking to do that on flight five. So why do we even have to wait potentially a month? One of the reasons is Starship's heat shield. The shield being one of the most complex components of the ship. SpaceX uses thousands of tiles on their heat shield. And Elon says before the next flight, they will be upgrading the rocket's heat shield tiles. As we know, one of the problems SpaceX has dealt with is those tiles simply falling off. And some people find them washed up on shore and keep them as a souvenir, but we don't want these tiles to fall off. These tiles can come loose during flight and also just while the rocket is on the ground. That's why Elon says SpaceX will add an additional layer under the tiles to keep the ship safe during re-entry in case the tiles fall off. So the new heat shield tiles will be about twice as strong as the ones that were on the last flight. And Elon says they want to put an ablative secondary structure, basically ablative protection behind the tiles so that if a tile cracks or comes loose, it doesn't cook the rocket. So do you remember that SpaceX deliberately removed some tiles to do some testing? Well, apparently they were testing that secondary ablative material on the last flight. Elon says the silicone material is not good for reuse, but it keeps the ship and its inhabitants safe in case the tiles fall off during or before re-entry. Elon also shared during his gaming live stream that he thinks Mechazilla's got a decent chance of catching the rocket, he says probably, I don't know, a 50% chance. He says the booster will come back. It will have an impact point that's out to sea. So it'll have to steer itself toward the tower with the catch arms. And if the booster detects that anything's wrong, it'll suicide itself into the ocean. If things are looking good, it'll steer over to the tower and the arms should be able to grab it. Which I don't know. This is like a lot of things that have to go right in order for this to be successful. So I want to know from you guys in the comments, do you think that it's time that SpaceX is ready based on the last flight to try and actually catch the booster with the chopsticks? Or do you think that they should maybe have one more successful launch? I'm curious what you guys think. Also, how much modification do you think will be needed, if any, for the next launch license due to this 
potential attempt to catch the booster. I want to know your thoughts in the comments again. Thank you so much to all of my new subscribers. There's been a lot of interest in the Starship program, in my interview with Elon Musk, of course, and I'm very grateful that you guys like my news reports. So thank you so much for watching this. I hope that you learned something or got some value from this. And what an honor it is to cover the journey of Starship, the most powerful flying object ever created. Elon stated recently it's currently over twice the thrust of Saturn V and with future upgrades it will be three times the thrust or 10,000 tons of force. Also let me know in the comments do you guys think that you will be attending the fifth flight of Starship? I definitely plan on being there unless of course it's on July 20th because I've been invited to walk in a STEM themed fashion show here in Austin. So if it's on July 20th I've already committed to that but if it's not then I will definitely probably be there um, because especially if they're going to catch the booster like you do not want to miss that so thank you guys so much for watching the video if you haven't subscribed already to my channel please do it's completely free and thanks for all the support i'll see you in the next video